Bleeding Edge subscribers, happy Friday and welcome back. On Wednesday, we talked about Intel. The company released its Gaudi 3 AI chip and the financial news media really went overboard, claiming Intel was about to bring the fight to NVIDIA. Uh, the truth is, though, Intel isn't going to go away, but it's not going to release a product that has NVIDIA worried about its AI dominance coming to an end. But that's not to say NVIDIA isn't worried. Competition is nipping at the AI giant's heels, and NVIDIA's financial outlook proves it. Uh, but it's not coming from traditional semiconductor companies like Intel or AMD. Instead, it's coming from companies that aren't traditional semiconductor designers. For years, Google has been designing and using its own custom silicon chips the company calls Tensor Processing Units, or TPUs. Google's TPUs have given the company an advantage running custom applications like Google Maps, its world-class search engine, and serving videos on YouTube. Instead of using off-the-shelf computer chip designs from NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel, Google found that its own custom designs not only perform better, but also came at a reduced cost. And other tech giants are starting to take notice. Back in 2016, Amazon bought a startup computer design firm. Since then, Amazon has launched its own custom silicon and Amazon and its customers use on a daily basis. Other companies like Microsoft and Apple have also developed their own custom silicon designs as well. With Apple now famously turning its back on Intel, and offering its entire product line powered by its own in-house custom silicon. But this week, another company made headlines and it came much sooner than expected. On Wednesday, Meta, the company behind Facebook and Instagram revealed its next generation AI accelerator chips. The MTA version two is expected to power the company's recommendation algorithms and its ad business. The most impressive aspect about Meta's new chip is the fact that the new version of the chip came years ahead of schedule. When Meta announced its plan to create its own line of custom silicon chips back in 2023, the inaugural version wasn't expected to be in production until 2025, so next year. So here we are in early 2024, and not only has Meta released version one of the chip, but now, it has already released a second version of the chip. So what does this mean for NVIDIA? And are the chip giants days, it's the best days of NVIDIA, is it behind it? So not so fast. NVIDIA is still producing the best AI chips in the world. The H100 and even the A100 chips, they're still the gold standard in the industry. The forthcoming GB200 will enable applications like ChatGPT to reach an even new level of performance. And despite Meta producing its own custom silicon designs, back in February, the social media giant said they would be adding 350,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs to its server infrastructure this year, bringing its total well past 600,000. But all this comes at a cost. With each NVIDIA H100 GPU costing $40,000 or more, Meta and these other tech companies are spending billions of dollars in revenue and profits over to NVIDIA. When NVIDIA reported its earnings back in February, the company said it expects its profit margins to actually fall. You wouldn't expect that. This was the first sign though that competition was starting to impact NVIDIA. In some cases, product releases from Intel and AMD gave tech giants another option or at least a bargaining chip when it came to pricing with NVIDIA. But in reality, it's the custom silicon designs that are coming to market much sooner and faster than expected that are giving tech companies alternatives to NVIDIA. And as I mentioned earlier, custom silicon can really pay off in a major way. Many in the tech community doubted Apple could shift away from using Intel computer chips in its popular Macintosh computers and its laptops. But here we are five years later, and not only has Apple completely ditched Intel for its own silicon designs, other laptop makers are starting to do the same. Over the next several years, the same thing is gonna play out in the data center. It almost seems laughable that companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and Meta can turn their backs on NVIDIA. But the advancements in custom silicon 
the ability to control every aspect of the design and more importantly, control cost will become paramount in the years ahead. Look, over the past year and a half, AI has been more of a race or a sprint or a gold rush, if you will. Efficiencies and cost really aren't that important when it's an all-out war to be first to market with game-changing AI products like ChatGPT. But soon the AI race shifts from being an all-out sprint to a marathon, which will require a much more methodical approach. And not only that, but investors and shareholders are going to expect a return and a normalization in data center spending. One of the most effective ways to achieve this is by controlling your own product and processes with custom silicon designs like Meta, Google, Microsoft, and Amazon are. Similar to how there's always going to be a need for Intel's computer chips, NVIDIA is always going to be seen as a leader in the AI-accelerated computer chip market. But tech companies will be searching for every competitive advantage they can get in the coming years. Buying off-the-shelf silicon that your competitors have access to won't cut it in a few years. That's why I believe NVIDIA's days of smashing results are over and reality begins to settle in. The world of bleeding edge custom silicon chips is advancing and it's the competition NVIDIA is not only worried about, but will eventually become the company's greatest challenge yet. That was the bleeding edge for today. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you again next week.